Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to the Ask Golf Nut channel. Today it's JPX 923 Tour time. So um, let's be honest, when it comes to the JPX 900, 919, or even 921, I never really understood what point the Tour had. Never, that's personal. Other people loved it. Personally, I really didn't get why Mizuno even made it because it's like a blade. Well, you've got the blade for that. Um, it's not really what you call a helpful blade because really how much help can that small cavity really be? Um, so when it comes to the, you had the 221 or the MP20, then you had the slightly more helpful one, then you had the hollow bodied one. And with the hollow bodied one, you can then go to a JPX Forge and you can understand that's a, the bridging one. This one, and I understand obviously the importance of a tour and all that, like I get it. But for me, I personally didn't get it, but they've changed it. There's some bits and pieces in here which would potentially make this a much more viable option for the player side of things. Anyway, so I've got my mouse in my hand. Why? Because uh, there's some tech to talk about. Um, I've got the four iron down there as well. We'll talk about that four iron later. But um, so these are coming, I think a three, two, let's have a little look. They come in from four to gap wedge when it comes to the tour. No three iron, four to gap wedge. Uh, this is 34 degrees and then it goes down to uh, 46 degrees, 51 degrees for the gap wedge and stuff like that. So. Um, all grain flow forged, but with a certain thing we'll talk about in a sec. When it comes to the head shapes, they have changed the lengths of the head necessary between the six and the pitching wedge and that lot, because they believed that the 921, the uh, blade lengths were a fraction too long. Now they've gone down a fraction, so this one does look a squat little thing. Underneath that, they've got copper now, so you haven't got the normal 1025E HD, you've got that, but with some copper. And that was my only real gripe when it comes to the tool, when it comes to feel, it was all the loveliness looking like a blade, but with a small cavity, but it didn't have the feel of the MP, but it has now with a copper underlay. And they've changed the reinforced V chassis idea for sound and feel and all that lot. But again, that's a small golf club. There's a limit to how much that V chassis stability frame can do. Um, right, let's go change data sets. I'm gonna stick it on the same hole that I have done the JPX 923 forged video uh, for continuity purposes. However, obviously I will kind of push the tee a little bit forward because this thing's not gonna go 180 odd yards carry. So um, yeah, let's go change data sets and let's go see how this performs. Data set now changed. We are at Beaver Hills Country Club like we were in the JPX 923 forged for continuity purposes. Um, however, yes, I have dialed the old uh, T a little bit closer forward. I've got it 171 yards, which is a bit, a bit of a push, I will say. However, it's six foot downhill, so um, we're gonna get a bit of assistance of distance through that alone. Right, let's go give this one a hit because I'm looking forward to this because this is my potential favorite going forward. Um, it's got copper and I love a, it's effectively a blade because it is, look at the size of that top line. It's teeny weeny down there and the blade length is lovely and stubby. Oh, that's gorgeous. Slightly face open. That's Healy as well. The feel of it is nice. Um, what's that? Yeah, face open. There you go. Slightly Healy, but the, the sound, it's, I wouldn't say it's dead. I wouldn't say it's very muted. It's much, much more like MP, Mizuno Pro. Shouldn't call it MP anymore. It's MP. It will always be MP. <laughs> it takes a long while to get that kind of thing out of someone's mind. Oh, that could be left a little bit. It's lovely though. It feels just gorgeous. I'll take that all day long. That just feels lovely. This is my favorite of, of the lot. It will be. This is my favorite one of the lot. The feel of this is just like a blade. Um, where before you had the old 921 tour, the 919 tour, or the 900 tour, doesn't matter, um, there was a deficiency really in the feel. It didn't feel like a blade, although by the size of it, let's face it, it wasn't, <laughs> yeah. I mean, of course, this is gonna have a little bit more um, tech in it when it comes to comparing it to directly to, like, say, a 221 or anything else like that, um, because it has got a little bit of cavity down there, but it's not going to be much, guys. Let's, let's, let's be honest, it's, it's effectively a blade, but that feels just lovely. Oh, that's a miss hit. That is a miss hit, low on the face. Good result, though. You can see drop a distance a little bit because I'm low on the face. 
um, what's that gone, 163. That's not bad though, considering my nominal for this kind of golf club goes 165, that's done very well. 10 mil low. So it's dropped in peak height, it's 29 yards in the air, but still 46 degrees descent angle because of the spin rate. I tell you what, that is doing well. Right, I'm trying to put off going to the four iron. <laughs> Again, that's not plumb on either. Slightly open, slightly low. Now, I'm, I'm, when it comes to an iron, I will generally miss slightly low on the face. When it comes to driver, I'm slightly toe, but my miss is, as a pattern, a little bit low if I'm going to miss. It's a safe side. Never fat it, always thin it. <laughs> but you can, the good thing obviously now you've got, is a tour, so you're gonna have the feedback. I know exactly where I'm hitting this on the face as soon as I hit it. Um, but now you've got the sound, you've got the feel, effectively, the sound of having MP copper, Mizuno Pro copper. Same one again, slightly open, very open. Um, safe side though, I'm not missing left today. I don't care what anyone says, I am not missing left. If you were playing golf on this hole, there is no way you'd miss left with that um, pin tucked that close to the left-hand side. Yeah, face open by three, slightly low on the face, but yeah, it feels lovely. Right, let's go swap over to the most pointless golf club on the, in the world, a four iron JPX 923 Tour. I really don't understand why they send media samples out with four irons. I get some people will like it and there are uses for it, just necessary, not for me. Let's go swap over data sets. Data set now changed. 200 yards away from this pin. Okay, four iron. This is where I'd definitely be grabbing my four hybrid out and sticking it up in the air. Um, I'm not quite sure how easily I'm gonna be stopping this one on the green. Uh, don't miss left, <laughs> is this one. But anyway, uh, four iron. So this has got a little bit more loft than the JPX 923 forged four iron that I've tested. Um, however, not much more, it's got 24 degrees, so it's got three degrees more. So at least that should assist in the getting up in launch angle. However, obviously because of the lack of technology in the back of this, because obviously it has got a small sole, it has got a very small top line, very thin top line, it looks lovely. And you know what, they were saying about the blade lengths when it comes to the seven iron and six to, to gap wedge and that lot being smaller. Uh, the four's not very big. Um, right, anyway, let's go give this a hit because unfortunately four irons can make me look really silly because it's got no roll and bulge. It's not a hybrid. There's no help with it when it comes to that. I haven't hit four irons in a long time. So um, wish me luck. Right, this is a very thin top line. Very thin top line. Can't, oh, do you know what? I can nearly see something out the back, but not quite. Four iron, oh, here we go. Yeah, that's out the bottom, that's me. That's gonna be a nippy bum when it comes to, oh, that's a chip on. That's the worst side ever to miss out the bottom. Nine mil low, two mil toe, so just yeah, low. That's done really well considering that's nine mil low. 200 yards, but yeah, 27 yards in the air, 42 degrees ascent angle. I'm kind of happy that went in the rough to stop it. Um, but I mean, 42 degrees on a soft green, that would stop. But yeah, that's me because I hit it low on the face. Compromise the launch, launch is 12 degrees. There you go. That's my own fault, nothing else. <laughs> that's a better shot. That's my normal flight. Much better shot. Oh, go on, don't go in. I'm not using, I don't ever go in with a four iron. I don't want to have to have the discussion with myself about using the four iron. I'd rather keep my hybrid. Feel wise is lovely. Zero mil high, two mil toe, it's two mil off. Um, it's, it's lovely. It really, that, that, much so like the seven iron, it's got the copper under it, I mean, underlaying it. So it will feel lovely, but don't miss hit it because it will be painful. Don't, I can imagine hitting this one when it comes to a cold February morning. Catch this a little bit low on the old, yeah, phalange is gonna sting for a little while. Fuzz city. <laughs> I mean, it's, again, that's my normal. That's great though, I mean, it just feels so, I can understand why people want to hit long irons, I really do. There is little in the world of golf satisfaction better than hitting a long iron suite. But it's the 
very small margins you have between wondrous and penal <laughs> when it comes to um, long irons not a lot of loft very very flat bladed yeah looks lovely though oh there it is that's the one i've been waiting for that's the horrific one <laughs> Face slightly open, that's me, and also low heel, that's me. Now the interesting thing about when it comes to um, uh, a hybrid, face looks a bit more left, that starts left and yeah. So that's a poor shot. That's done really well, 194 from that strike with an open face. Now of course it's hit the green, just, only because there's a far more green on the right hand side than there is left, but again, this don't miss left as a general rule on this green. You've got a long putt, but the short side on yourself on this green is possibly worse than the long putt. I mean, that's a really good hit, slightly healy, but yeah, slightly open. That's my classic. I'm normally either straight to fadey, straight to fadey, straight to fadey. It's a really bad one for me if I double cross myself. <laughs> if I double cross greens and yeah. So that's still nine mil heel, three mil low, but yeah, face open by 2.9. Yeah, it's your classic fade off. I do get the, the occasional pull left, like you saw shot one. <laughs> Last one, because I don't want to hit too many, although I've already hit loads with a four iron. It's, I can really understand why that's still toey, but it's, so, it's performing so well. But you, it is small margins when it comes to one of these things. Uh, 204, which is good, nine mil toe. So I mean, I, you can see by my strike pattern there, I have not hit middle. Okay, I'm not massively off. I'm not hitting, thinning it of toe, shank and all that lot. But talking about that, let's go get the four iron <laughs> and the seven iron. Let's go hit it loads more times. Let's take it off of this, go onto the actual range where I can, yeah, just bang, 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 bang away. And let's go see when you hit it fairly extreme, how this, these two golf clubs work when it comes to the four and the seven, four possibly a bit less, but definitely the seven, and see how far offline you can hit it when it comes to the middle and still get away with it. So after hitting a load of shots with the JPX 923 Tour, the seven iron and the four iron, yeah, hitting the four irons is fun, but I'll be honest, it doesn't give me any impetus whatsoever to go put the four iron in the bag and take my hybrid out. Uh, looks lovely, feels lovely, but, yeah, compared to the hybrid, yeah, it just, that's the reason why they brought hybrids in. So let's go have a look at the information. Quick, we'll go look at the tabular data and then also when it comes to uh, the graphical side, we're gonna look at the forgiveness. Remember, this is a JPX 923 Tour. It is basically a blade within reason. However, I wanna say before I go to the conclusion, all this, like, the inclusion of copper this year, it transforms, in my view, it transforms the JPX 92 something tour or 919 tour or the 900 tour. It just transforms that golf club in the range for me. I always had an issue of it. I didn't really like the fact that it was sitting there doing what? I don't understand because it was basically a blade. It didn't offer any real help over a blade. And you had the likes of 223 or MP20 MMC or MP18 SC and the back in the days and stuff like that. So you can see there was there was golf clubs that arguably were actually more forgiving, but in the player's side of things. So, however, inclusion of the copper underlay has now made that JPX 923 Tour feel like a properly soft, lovely blade, as it should or even kind of does look like. Right, quickly, let's go by the ball data for the averages for the seven iron and four iron and see how well it performed. So, seven iron, 119.9 miles an hour, 20 degrees aloft, six three spin. Remember this is the 34 degree seven iron, so six three spins, not too bad for a modern day lofted, yeah, modern traditional lofted, yeah. I can remember in seven irons with like 37, 38, degrees anyway um, going up 37 yards in the air it's nice and high and descending basically at 50 degrees at 168 so it is performing slightly um, better than I would expect it to because remember my blade is a 165 normal shot and I'm this is the same lofted um, but it's punching out there just a fraction more you're gaining a few more extra yards now is that got anything to do with the JPX side of things again I suppose I'll have to do this test I don't know how many more times to see if the extra three yards are coming from um, 
Uh, it's it's got to be the face. I mean, it, has, it is still a JPX. It's not a blade. It's not an MP or Mizuno Pro 221. So um, there has got a touch, a touch of technology in there, but not much, but still making a difference. So it's 91.2 miles an hour, 1.3 to efficiency, which is good for an, a blade. Uh, remember, camera-based system, not a uh, radar-based. They measure things differently. So before you get the keyboard warriors go on there, so that's a low efficiency. I need to do another video on that. 4.4 uh, down, 0 0.3 across, 0 0.3 close. Sorry, 0 0.3. 0 0.3 from the inside, 0 0.3 close, which is slightly baby draw dynamics. Uh, 2.1 degrees down the line, no shock there. Why? Well, because they're media samples and they're standard, and I need two degrees upright. There you go. Um, loft is 27.9 and two mil toe, two mil low as an average strike, but you can see I've got all my standard deviation numbers on there as well for the people that really care about standard deviation remember when it comes to standard deviation definitely is a good idea to use standard deviation as a marker as when you're comparing two golf clubs uh, we're going to have standard deviation in there anyway because of the miss hits that i'm intentionally trying to to show to see how forgiving something is or not um right let's go to the dreaded four ride <laughs> Um, 131.8 miles an hour, so not too bad, but in, obviously that's deflection. Uh, coming off now, launching at 15.6, spinning at nearly 5,000, that's 4,740, that's not bad whatsoever for a four iron. Um, going up at 35 yards in the air and descending at 46.1, so carrying 197. <laughs> Would I, could I use it? Yes, I could, but that 46 degrees has a little bit of variation on it. And with standard deviation, you don't hit such a good one. It's starting coming under 45 degrees. It's lovely. It's beautiful when you hit it out the middle or anywhere close. The feeling on these new copper underlay tours, I cannot stress enough just how lovely they are. If you like a soft, a very dull, deadened, muted, soft feeling golf club, you will absolutely love the new JBX 923 Tour. I could, just for fun, they're just such a, such a nice golf club to, to use, it really is. But for me, the 4-iron, I won't be dumping off my hybrid anytime soon. <laughs> um, it's barely functional for me. 46 degrees is beyond 45. Yes, it is, but it's the miss hits that um, are going to affect it slightly. 95.7 uh, miles an hour, 1.38 deliver uh, efficiency, sorry, 2.1 down, 1.7 across, 1.2 open, baby fade dynamics when it comes to longer shafted iron. 2.3 on the lie again, two degrees, and uh, one mil hill, zero mil low, but then you've got stand deviation of the misses as well. So um, it's, if we move over to the ball compare screen, you can see uh, graphically what we're just talking about there. Strikes move the fraction and you can see dispersion gets a little bit worse when you go to a four iron over a seven iron but again d-plane suggests that's exactly going to happen anyway so let's go have a look very very quickly at what makes this um these tours forgiving or not first one we can see here 89.2 miles an hour 0.7 across 0.7 open so baby little fade dynamics basically tip target 0.9 offline yes it did 157 yards off of 168 so it's lost 11 yards but it is 18 millimeters gross away from the middle um, remember this is a tour the heads are not very big so when you hit something like this 18 millimeters away from the middle um, 17 mil toe 1 mil high that is going to be penal. However, it's only dropped 11 yards. When I say only, that's still some people's um, full golf club. But that's an, this is a tour golf club, 18 millimeters away from middle. It has done very well. Um, next one, 93.6 miles an hour, 1.3 from the inside, 0.8 open. So normally it would say a little baby right. It's finished 1.8 yards offline to the left, but I did hit it 12 mil toe, 10 mil, uh, sorry, 12 mil low, 10 mil toe. Um, that did not feel very nice, I will not lie. Um, it felt horrible, <laughs> I'm being honest. Don't hit a golf club anywhere near there. Um, it's done really well considering we have lost uh, four yards. That is it from that strike. I am near on amazed when I hit that at just how bad it felt and just how well it done. <laughs> Yeah, 90.9 uh, .9 miles an hour, just seen this strike. Uh, 2.1 from the inside, 0.3 open. Tw uh, 10 mil low, 5 mil heel, so low on the face. Again, considering this is low on the face, it's dropped a number of what, eight yards um, from a slightly low Healy. Pretty good. Uh, 92.8 miles an hour, 0.2 from the inside, 1.8 open, low on the face again. So you can see that 
actually considering low on the face on a tour, it will give your things a little bit of a fuzz in the cold. I will not lie on that one, it will do. However, it's doing really, really well. I cannot, um, I can't believe some of them shots that I was hitting low on the face and they were still carrying well. And they weren't going, they weren't going in like a bullet. They were going in with some decent height to stop as well. Right, four iron quickly. Um, there's not as many when it comes to this. Um, now, <laughs> Let's start off with this one straight away. 97.3 miles an hour, 0.2 from the inside, 0.5. Open, so small amounts. Delivery is pretty good. Three mil low, 17 toe. That's 20 millimeters away from middle. Has it lost distance? Hardly any. Um, nine, 195 carry from that strike. Wowzers. 96.2 uh, miles an hour clubbed speed, slightly across, slightly open, 2.3 across, 1.0 open, little baby fade. Four mil low, 11 mil toe, hasn't hardly moved, 194. <laughs> 90.8 miles an hour was a slower speed four iron hit for a bit of fun, uh, just to see how it would perform, because uh, obviously I'm swinging up at 97, 98 miles an hour with a seven iron. Um, not many people swing up that fast. So this unfortunately gets sold, not necessarily the tour, but especially four irons in other package sets, they get sold to people that don't swing as fast. So 90.8 miles an hour, path is zero, face is zero, two mil toe, two mil low, really decent strike. Um, at a slower speed, that's gone 31 yards in the air and 43.6 degrees descent angle. So that is not functional. That says hit really well, delivered really well. It's got 192 yards carry, because obviously slower speed, but delivered really well. Um, and it's not gone in at 45 degrees, it's 43.6 from a really well hit shot. So if you start at slower speed, start miss hitting it, it's even gonna go lower and it's gonna chase through the green. You've got no control whatsoever. Um, this is an interesting one, uh, 97 point, well, 96.9, 97 miles an hour club at speed, so back up again. Two across, 2.4 open, um, seven mil low, 12 mil heel, and it's lost about What's that, four yards, five yards, whatever it is on the average. I'm really surprised how well this JPX923 Tour does on heel shots, and it's not designed. Now, I can remember back in the day when actually heel shots were um, the effective middle because of the fact that how they used to have their, um, the design of the golf clubs, the middle was not actually the best part to hit. Actually, the middle was slightly toey, actually slightly heely, was the middle. Um, I've got some other shots on there as well, but they're just a collection of lows and highs. And there's one on here that I can see, um, five mil high, 14 toe. It's done okay, it's lost a bit of distance, but then it will do when you hit it high on the face again, and that's the thing. So, the when it comes to conclusion, when it comes to the forgiveness of a 923 Tour, having that copper has made the JPX 923 Tour now for me a, purposeful club. I never really liked it. I never really understood it. I never really understood really why people bought it. By all means, comment below is why people bought the JPX anything, 900 Tour, 919 Tour, 921 Tour, because it didn't feel like a blade. It didn't, it looked very, very similar to like a blade. There was the smallest cavity you ever did see, and there was hardly any of the JPX kind of uh, technology in it because it's such a small chassis. It's basically a blade, and it didn't feel like it. So I just didn't really like it. Now you've got that copper underlay, it feels, oh, just the transition. I was going from, for fun, I went from the tour to my blade, the tour to my blade, and I could not feel a difference. Why? Because I've both got copper underlay, and it's uh, just, so yeah, I can really understand why people now would distinctly say that the tour series, uh, or in the range, is a viable option to purchase now. So, um, hope you liked the video. If you did, go on, thumbs up down there. YouTube likes it, so do I. Uh, next to it is a little red button, so subscribe button. If you can click the subscribe button, that'd be brilliant. And next to it is a little bell icon. That bell icon's a notification bell, and that notification bell will let you know next time I upload another video. So I hope you're well, and we'll see you again soon.